All right, Shalom Yashirala. Back again with another Lord with an edifying video. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai. Before I begin this lesson, I want to give all honor and glory and praises unto the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha, Kodash. Next up, the honors unto the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone, who still go out there to the house of Bowers and feed us with 100% truth according to the scriptures and rule well in peace, blessings, and safety and mercy unto the Yachims out there who is pushing the truth in the four corners of the earth with bonusness, righteousness, and the sincerity to the best of their abilities in the name of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And uh, to the spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, I just want to. Uh, do a comparison. I got a video clip after I get some scriptures. I'm gonna do a comparison of the carnal mindedness of the Negroes, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, the Hebrew Israelites, specifically talking about the two thirds of how they're carnal, man. And I wanna do a comparison of this anime show of the carnal mindedness of, of a character and the spiritual mindedness of another character and show that the spirit. It's spirituality is superior to carnal, car, being carnal, being carnally minded, you know. So the first scripture I want to grab before I play some of the clip is the book of uh, Romans chapter 8 verse 6. What to be carnally minded is death. See, to be carnally minded is death. And carnal, and carnal means not spiritual, worldly, of the flesh, right. So like, like for example, of car, being carnal is... Like the uh, IHBK man, IHBK grabbing guns, talking about a Hebrew revolution, revolution man. That's being carnal, man. You know, grabbing AKs, grabbing Jacos, grabbing M16s, man. That's being carnal, man. Because to be spiritual, if they were spiritual, they would know that the spiritual weapon and ultimately the 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 most uh, how should I say the most powerful weapon in the world is this holy Bible right here, man. This is all the weapon that we need, man. The scripture says the uh the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, man. You know? So being that so being in that carnal minded mentality of Hebrew revolution, talking about some Dracos, you know what I mean? And talking about all that, man, that's that's death, man. And ultimately that you're gonna get put to death by your heart by Shemar Shai, you know, during the times of uh Jacob's trouble, man, you know. And it reads on, but to be spiritually minded is peace and life, right? Because we have the truth of the scriptures, man. These words right here, the 1611 King James Bible, man, is uh, it gives us peace, man. And this is life in these scriptures, man. You know, because the scripture says, uh, the St. John 6 to 63, that the words that Yahweh shall speak unto us is spirit and they are life, man. Matter of fact, let me go, let me go ahead and get it. Let me get it right quick. You know? Because it says to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So we're going to get St. John chapter 6, verse 63. And it reads, this is Lord Yahweh Shah speaking, it's read. And it reads, St. John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profit of nothing. The words that I speak unto you. They are spirit and they are life, right? So everything that is written in this scriptures, I mean, everything that's written in this book, like it says, I, for, I forgot what scripture is, but it says the things that are written a fourth time was written for all learning, man. You know, receiving the spirit of this book, man, you know, ultimately it has to be given to you. But you know what I'm saying? Hey, everything that is written in this Bible is faithful and true, man. And we are comforted by these scriptures, man, you know? To be spiritually minded, you know what I'm saying, is life and peace, man. Because these scripture teaches you how to maneuver through this, this this wicked, simple kingdom, man. The scripture says to be wise as a serpent and harmless as dove, man. Not to go grab guns. You know what I mean? Talking about some Hebrew revolution, man. That's being carnally minded, man. And ultimately, that carnal minded, being carnally minded is going to get them put to death, man. You know? But to be spiritually minded is life and peace, man. It's peace once you know that you are Hebrew Israelite. It's peace when, when you find out that the so-called white man is about to go down. It's, 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 it's peace when you find out that the next kingdom and the next rulership to come is, 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 is for the Hebrew Israelites, man. Which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. You know? So everything that, that's written in this book is life and peace, man. You know? That's why it's also known as the uh, the comforter, man. You know? 
that's that's being spiritually minded. Walkers in the way of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, by taking heed to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, which is the words that are written in this book, man, and receiving it and being a doer of the word and not hearers only, man. You know, you no know, being wise. You know, wise as the serpents as harmless as dove, man. Following what Yahweh by Shemuel Shai ordered us and commanded us to do, man. You know, that's spirit and that's life. So without further ado, I'm going to play the clip. Sorry, but the possibility of you winning is zero. Huh? The scientific data proves that beyond a doubt. See, he's carnal minded, man. He's carnal. The person in the orange his name is Alexi with the glasses. And this this character right here, is, his name is you, man. He's pretty much going to ex uh he's pretty much is going to expose Alexi, man, for being carnally minded, man. You know, for for relying on technology. Instead of relying on the spirit, man. Just like two-thirds of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. They rely on things that they can see uh, rather than uh, uh, being spiritual and uh, having faith in things that are not seen, man. You know? And not, and, and, and you know what I mean? Well, what about... Yeah. Say, Bay Spirit, what is that? Can you measure the spirit of a bay with science? Your feelings toward your bay? The excitement? See? He said, "Can you measure? Can you measure? Uh, can your daddy measure the, the, the spirit of uh, of your bay, man? You know what I mean? Can your science measure the spirit uh, of a bay spirit, man? And that's the same thing with the, with the, with the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. They 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 rely on everything that they can see, such as technology on Esau's words, man. You know. But hey, hey, you, you can't measure the spirit of your high body, Shemuel Shai, man. You know." Thing is a spirit in a bay. See, see, see what he just said. See, he's carnal, man. Just like the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians today, man. Carnal. Going, they're, they're of the flesh, man. They're not spiritual. They're believing on every everything that they can see, man. You know. So this is the book of Psalms, chapter one, for chapter fourteen, verse one. The fool has said in his heart. There is no God, right? That fool is talking about the two thirds of the nation of Israel because that's who I'm getting on in this video. You know, the fool has said in his heart, which means you know, go back to the Hebrew word lob, which means your mind. That there is no God, man. That there is no spirit. There's no spirits. There's no Most High. There's no the the, the, the Holy Bible isn't real, man. That's what a fool said in his mind, man. You know, the two thirds of the nation of Israel. That's what they say in their minds, man. You know. A fool is an idiot, a moron, a blockhead, and ultimately a carnal minded, a combo minded nigga, man. You know? They are corrupt. They have done abominable works, right? They are corrupt and they have done abominable works, man. You know? Ultimately doing um idolatry. You know what I mean? Because they are Israelites, so they're supposed to be serving your by Shemar Shai. But instead they want to go off and do their own thing, man. You know, that's that's doing abominable works, man. You know, um, Eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobsters, man. You know, not following the law, such as the commandments that Yahweh by Shema Shah gave us, man. You know, and it reads, and there, there is none that doeth good. And the scripture says, there is none of them that doesn't follow the ways of Yahweh by Shema Shai, taking heed to the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai by the men that he set up, man. There is none that doeth good. Because what's doing good? Doing good is serving Yahweh by Shema Shai with fear and trembling, man. That's doing good. Uh, following the law, such as the commandments to the best of your ability, man. Uh, doing everything to the best of your ability to follow the ways of Yahweh by Shimon Shai and applying what you know, uh, it's scriptures, man. You know, that's 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 doing good, man. That's uh, that's what you you would call a good person, a person that fears and that serves Yahweh by Shimon Shai with the best of their abilities, with all their with all their heart and with all their minds, man. Doing what Yahweh by Shemar Shah commanded him to do. That is doing good, man. You know, and there is none that do of good that says that there is no power. There is no spirit. There is no Yahweh by Shemar Shah, man. There is no, there is no spirits walking among us. There is no angels, man. You know, that's two thirds of the nation of Israel's mindset. Just like Alexis, man. Let's, let's keep, keep, keep on with the clip. That's unscientific. Grab it. 
See, see, being Carly minded. He said that's unscientific, man. There is no spirits, man. You just the same mindset of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, especially you black, you so-called black atheists. You black, you, you, you guys are bugged out of your mind. Black atheists, you black conscious niggas, man. And talking about some oh, there is no, there is no Most High. This is the same mindset of you, you niggas, man. Two thirds of the nation of Israel uh, having this mindset that Alexi has is the main reason why you're gonna get destroyed, man. See, he's still being final, man. Oh, Libra, one more time! Huh? I've got a really fun idea! What is he doing? Keep on going! Ah, the waves are becoming unsteady! Oh, I get it! What? Huh? They were warped the stadium, so the wave energy is disturbed. Wolf can't remain stable. Ah! Oh, I'm being primal, oh. man. Guess what's about to happen? Oh. He lost. Oh, yeah, baby. Great job, genius. See? Because Alexi, <laughs> because of that character, was so carnal and, and didn't, and, and didn't uh, pretty much didn't um, go off the spirit of his bay. You know what I mean? That he lost, man. You know, he just, he was too busy caught up. In the uh in the scientific data analysis, man, analysis like here. You know what I mean? He was too busy. Uh, he was too busy uh, relying on what the the system says, the the technology says, than what his actual instead of having a connection with the spirit of his bay, man, having a, a personal relationship with his bay, man. You know, and that's the same way. That's the same. That's the same result that's gonna to happen to you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians that don't return back to your high shy and get it out of that corner mindset. You're gonna lose the battle that's gonna come up, and that's your high by shy destroying you, man. That's what you gotta look forward to if you keep being in that corner minded mentality, such as Alexi was. Alexi was. You're gonna lose and you're gonna be destroyed, man. You know? If you do not repent and come back to the ways of your how by Shimon Shai, man, you know. So if that look when this video was edifying, you know, just put just wanted to put together, you know, a comparison clip, you know, through the spirit y'all by Shimon Shai of how niggas uh, were the, um, spiritually minded, just like Alexi was. But at the end result, what happened? At the end result of being calmly minded, um, he lost, man. And that's exactly what's going to happen to you two-thirds you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. At the end result of you being calmly minded, you are going to get put to death by your how about shimmy how shy, man. You know, for not being spiritual, and but and, but being carnal, man. So if that low witness video was edifying for you, I can drop that as watching through the spirit. I want to give all honor and glory and praises unto the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashimi Hawashai, Bahashima Chakwadash. Next up, double honors unto the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone, who still go out there to the highways and byways and feed us with 100% truth according to the Bible and rule well. And peace, blessings, and safety and mercy unto the Yakims out there who is pushing the truth from the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and the sincerity to the best of their abilities. With that, Shalom, Kwame Ashwala.